I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? I was looking for Sarah. This is Sarah. Hey, Sarah. My name is Casey Ryback. You probably don't remember me. Um, I work for the restaurant i was your server the other night oh uh yeah hi hi i hope you don't mind me calling you i got your phone number from our reservations book after you left um 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 okay Uh, is everything all right i mean did yeah no card get declined or something no i'm just calling you because you gave me a pretty good tip like way above 20 percent. you know you gave me a really nice tip (laughs) Well, I don't I, know if you remember. I mean, you gave us really good service, yeah. so I I usually tip according to yeah. okay, the cool. service that I get. You I, know, I I appreciate that, but I just wanted to call and let you know that I really don't even need that tip. I don't even really need this job because I'm a millionaire. So, uh, you know, thank you and everything, but I just wanted to let you know that I don't actually need the money. <laughs> you know. Um. Okay. Well, I mean. Well, so, I don't even wait. Why are you even call? I don't know. Well, I was Sorry, just I was, this is the weirdest phone call. <laughs> well, um, I was calling to thank you for the tip, but also let you know that I don't really need it. So if you want it back, it's fine with me because I don't. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm actually a millionaire. I just wait tables for fun. Uh, <laughs> I mean, okay. The, the wow. First of all, it's bizarre that you're calling me. Um, second of all. I'm sure that there's people that help you at the restaurant. Don't you guys like split your tips or something anyway with your? Yeah, I pretty much. Stuff? Well, I pretty so, much gave all of the money that you gave me to those guys, but I can give it back to you if you want it back, if you need it back or whatever. Because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm actually per- doing pretty well for myself. Um, yeah, you said that. I mean, I don't want it back. So thanks and. Uh, well done for you for being Is rich. It? Like I, I, I don't know what else to say to you. I was just curious. What do you do for a living? I'm sorry. That is absolutely none of your business. And I. Oh I'm no 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 no! Hey, for you that you have a a job that you don't need, but. Sarah, it's cool. I'm it's... done with this conversation. <laughs> Sarah, okay, I don't. Sarah, Sarah, there's no need to be embarrassed. Okay, we both know that I'm probably doing a little better than you are in the money department. I just, I'm trying to make friends. I'm trying so, to be really nice right now and not hang up this phone, so why don't you just, like, tell me what you need and be on your way. I don't want the money back. I don't want to be your friend, so was there something you know, else? if you want some advice, uh, you probably shouldn't be tipping so much. You know, you might want to save your money. I don't want your advice. Well, I'm, I'm just, going to tip what I want to tip, and it's none of your business. Yeah, but you kind of tipped a lot, and, like, I might know a little bit about finances <laughs> myself, you know? So I'm giving you just kind of some free advice right there. Save your money. Don't tip so much. I don't much. want your advice. Just put that in the bank, you know, we could put that in savings. <laughs> and then one day, who knows, you know, you too could be a millionaire. Okay, I'm so- are you calling me from the restaurant right now? I am. Yeah, I, well, I was just about to start Great. my shift. Can I talk to your supervisor, please? But he's not a millionaire. <laughs> I don't so, care. So pass the phone. If you're going to if you're going to complain about me, you can say whatever you want cuz if the guy fires me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't even you need know what? this you job. You should probably just leave the job anyway and be done with it because I am going to get you fired. So pass the phone to your supervisor. Honestly, he's probably not going to fire me because I could just give him some money to keep the job. Like, I, you know, I, I pretty much can buy my You way. have to be the most obnoxious person I have ever contacted. <laughs> I've ever... Oh, my God! Are hey, we done? Are Sarah? we done now? Sarah? What? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. I'm moving 92.5, doing a phone tap on you. Your friend Julie set you up. Set me up for what? For a prank phone call. Why? Why would she do that? She said that she wanted to give you a good laugh, and you guys had dinner the other night and thought it would be funny. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Probably because you're not a millionaire. You know what? You're a jackass. (laughs) Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. Too so.